apple lovers, it's your boy, Little Apple. I'm here with Grapefruit, and today we're taking on the Sour Candy Challenge. A challenge might not be the right word for it. This is gonna be a breeze for me. Okay then, so I brought a bunch of different sour candies. Lemon heads, atomic warheads, sour patch kids. What'd you bring, Grapefruit? And also, why is that barrel next to you glowing green so ominously? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I take it you don't know about extreme danger goo. No, never heard of it. Little Apple, prepare to have your mind blown and your lips pursed. Extreme danger goo is only the sourest candy in the known universe. Just look at the warning label. Use with extreme caution. May dissolve your intestines. May dissolve your tongue. May dissolve materials of any kind. What the what? Why would anyone want to put this stuff in their body? For greatness, of course. To achieve something that's never been achieved before. You mean no one's ever eaten extreme danger goo? Not without getting irreparable stomach ulcers they haven't. And yours truly is going to be the first. Ah, well, I guess if that floats your boat. I take it you've been training or something? Oh, you silly. Silly, silly little apple. Of course I haven't been training. Do you understand how tough I am? I'll be able to handle it. Okay, but... Don't you worry about me, little buddy. I've got abs of steel and a small intestine to match it. Shall we begin? All right. First up, we got lemon heads. Mmm, <coughs> very delicious. Only mildly sour. I'm gonna give these one pucker. Grapefruit? Oh, I mean, these things are at least an eight or a nine on the pucker scale. Nothing I can't handle, but wow, my cheeks are practically touching each other on the inside of my mouth. <laughs> Are you serious? Lemon heads aren't even that sour. They aren't? What does the warning label on the box say? Dude, there is no warning label. Like I'm gonna take your word for it. You're illiterate. Ah, for the last time, I am not illiterate. Ah, dude, if you can't take lemon heads, I don't think you're gonna be able to handle that danger goop stuff that you brought. It's danger goo, thank you very much, and I will absolutely be able to stand it. I just gotta ease the old taste buds into it. Warm them up first, that's all. What do we got next? Okay, next up are atomic warheads. Okay, sounds intense. Ow. Oh. Oh, this thing's at least six fuckers. Really? You give it a six. What? You don't think it's sour? Not in the slightest. I give it one pucker. Heck, I give it zero puckers. That's just how tough I am. So, if it's zero puckers, why is your entire face puckered right now? I have no idea what you're talking about. Whatever. So I guess you'll have no problem with the most intense candy I brought, toxic waste. Toxic what now? Toxic waste. Go ahead, have some since you're so tough. I bet it's nowhere near as sour as that danger goo you brought. Okay, let's take it easy. Let's just take a minute and think about what we're doing. Is it hot in here? Can we open the window? <laughs> Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's the sourest candy yet. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give it 10 puckers. 10? That's all of the puckers. Go ahead, tough guy, pucker up. Oh, oh, that's not so bad. I barely even registered to my super tough taste buds. I'm gonna give it zero puckers. Is that why you puckered so hard your entire body turned inside out? Let's go with yes. So, should we even continue? No, no, I'm all puckered out for the day. Probably for the best. That danger goose stuff dissolves straight through its packaging and the counter. Oh, oh, thank goodness. My stomach is screaming in pain right now. Holy Toledo! That hole's super deep! I wonder how far down it went! I mean, that stuff is pretty darn sour. It could have gone straight down to the Earth's core for all we know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I mean, it's a joke, right? You don't think it actually could have gone all the way down to the... Was that your stomach? It was not. Howdy, 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 fruit lovers! A to the O here with Grapefruit! Today, we're doing another hot sauce challenge! Last time I did a hot sauce challenge, I, uh... Well, let's just say it could have gone better. So what you talking about? You got straight up smoked! <laughs> That's one way of... Roll that footage! Wait! Are you crying? I'm not sure! I think I might actually be bleeding from my eyeballs! Yeah, you might say the last challenge didn't go so hot! for all grapefruit. <laughs> Fantastic. So for today's video, we went out and got some super intense hot sauces and also got some really mild hot sauces. <laughs> Shocknado. Born to be mild? I like these names. 
very punny. <laughs> I'm glad you like the names. Keep those in mind, because they'll be important later. Now then, here's how the challenge works. We each get served a hot wing. One hot wing will have an intense hot sauce on it, and one will have a mild sauce. We don't know who's going to get the hot one. Could be you, could be me. Like a game of Russian chulette. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, if you can guess the brand just by taste, you get to drink a glass of milk for sweet, sweet relief. If you guess wrong, you got to live with the pain. Make sense? Nope, but I like it that way. <laughs> Okay, let's get this show on the road. Thank you, mysterious waitress hands. Ready, Orange? Not yet. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> then one, two, three, hot wing! Hmm, this is pretty good. I think I got the mild one. How about you, Grapefruit? <laughs> wow, looks like I got the nice one and you got the spice one. <laughs> I need milk! Milk! You gotta guess the name, remember? Damn's the rules! You're right, okay. Uh, amid the fiery pain, I think I detect the essence of avocado, so I'll go with Fire Festival? It was Blistering Hipster! Ah, I should have known! The blisters already forming inside my cheeks should have been a dead giveaway! As for my hot sauce gas, the taste makes me think of kazoos, which makes me think of Kazakhstan, which makes me think of my friend Stan, which makes me think of what a fan of nature I am. So my guess is the call of the wild. Woohoo! Bottom top! I, I don't really follow your logic, but I guess even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> Round two! What say you? <laughs> Whatever gets me closer to a chance at milk! Thank you, mysterious waitress hands! Oh, wow! Did you do your nails since we last saw you? Love them! Enough chit chat. My lips are magma. One, two, three, hot wing! Mmm! Oh, okay. Mm, this one might be the hot one. Maybe. It has a little spice to it. Is yours as hot as the last time? Mm, I, I can't tell if this is the hot one or the... Yeah! Well, I guess that answers that burning question. <laughs> uh, What's your guess? Uh, I taste burning, but that could just be my own tongue. I'm going with uh, seven deadly sins. And, but close. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hot Sauce brand. Gah, I want that milk. Now for my guess. Hmm. Please hurry, my throat is an oven. So, chicken wings make me think of rubber chickens, which makes me think of rubber baby buggy bumpers, which makes me think the name of my hot sauce is Red-Headed Step Mild. <laughs> hey! How the heck did you get so lucky twice in a row? Mm. Well, I don't know how lucky I am. All this milk's starting to give me a tummy ache. My large intestine is a furnace. I would do anything for milk right now. Then let's get V to round three. <laughs> Whoa, hey, did you get engaged since we last saw you? Oh, I thought I noticed something different. It's gorgeous. Congratulations. Later, we can talk about this later when my innards are melting. <sighs> okay, this one has to be mild. No way I get three hot ones in a row. One, two, three, hot sauce! Mmm. Oh, yep, you're right. Well, oh, this one definitely has more kick than the last two I had. <laughs> wow! Whoa, round three just got lit! <laughs> this one's definitely the hottest yet! Man, I gotta guess this one right! I just gotta! Um, okay, what name sounds the hottest? Infinity Hot! Don't know what it means, but I'm going with it! Correct! Yes! Give me that milk! Come to daddy! Huh? Um, sorry. I guess I drank it all. <laughs> you're sorry? My entire body is a kiln. And you're sorry? Well, not as sorry as I'm gonna be. Why's that? Well, that was a whole lot of... Not my words, people. I am never doing a hot sauce challenge again! Hey, everyone. Parent Orange here. Today, we're doing the pizza challenge. You like pizza, right, Orange? Of course. If you ask me, anyone who doesn't like pizzas is a real weird doll. <laughs> Here's how it'll work. We've got 10 mystery ingredients hidden inside these bags. Orange and I will each pick five. Whatever's inside our bags, we have to put it on our pizza. Then we gotta eat a slice, whether it's nasty or nice. <laughs> you wanna go first or should I? Me, I wanna go. Let me add these toppings. Okay, go ahead. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Topping, 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 topping. I said you could go first. Yeesh, sorry, I didn't hear you. No ears. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna go with bag number 10. Okay, what's inside? Extra cheese. Extra cheese? That's barely even a topping. Ooh, is somebody jealous? I'm not jealous. Yeah, uh -huh. look at yourself. You're green with envy. <laughs> I'm always green, dude. That's just what color I am. Okay, I'm gonna go with number five. Looks like I picked black beans. Is that even a pizza topping? Anything's a pizza topping, Pear, as long as it's on a pizza. Wow, thanks, dude. That was really deep. More like deep dish, am I right? <laughs> nah. Well, I guess I'm putting black beans on my pizza, even though they do give me really bad gas. Ah, quit your whining. Don't be such a party poo, Pear. <laughs> okay, mystery bag number three has pepperoni. Woohoo! So far, this challenge is a pizza cake. <laughs> I'll say, I just got pinto beans. These make me even gassier than black beans. What'd you get? Ooh, it's a good one. In all my life, I've never sausage a delicious pizza. <laughs> sausage? Why are you getting all the normal pizza toppings? Well, meanwhile, I'm getting lima beans. No, oh, don't be mad, Pear. It's just a fun little challenge video. Try to have a good time. A rootin' tootin' good time. <laughs> no. Oh, man. I got one I'm not too excited about. It's about time. What'd you get? Anchovies? No. Parmesan cheese, can you believe it? Wait, you got more cheese? Dude, that sounds delicious. Eh, I'll admit it's good, but not great. <laughs> Get it, Parmesan, great? Ugh, I got it. And I also got kidney beans. And I got bacon, Woohoo! Bacon, how is this fair? You have like every delicious pizza topping and meanwhile my pizza over here is looking like a bean museum. Relax, Pear, you still have one mystery ingredient left. Maybe it'll pull the whole pizza together. <sighs> I doubt it, but let's check it out. What is this? Tooty Toot 2000 X? Oh, maybe it's medicine that makes you stop farting. See, I told you it would all work out. No, no, it's actually the exact opposite. It makes you fart, like 2000 times more than usual. <laughs> oh man, who packed these mystery bags? An American hero, that's who. Oh, can we please just put these toppings on and get the pizzas in the oven? I wanna be done with this. Nah, don't worry, Pear. This too will pass. <laughs> no. All right, our pizzas are baked and ready to eat. Unfortunately for me, it's now time to eat an entire slice. Just one slice? I ate the whole thing, so yummy. You don't have to rub it in, dude. We know you got the better pizza. Your turn, Pear. Your turn to eat your pizza. I'm aware. Go ahead, anytime. I will, okay? Now's a good time. Everyone's waiting. Okay. <laughs> Wait. This tastes different than I thought it would. What do you mean? I taste pepperoni and sausage. Orange, did you eat the wrong pizza? <laughs> of course not. How the heck would I mix up the... Oh. Oh, that's different. Orange? Pear, I need you to listen very carefully. I want you to get everyone and take them out of the kitchen. But, Orange... Listen to me. Get everyone outside, start running, and keep running. Get as far away from this kitchen as you possibly can. We don't have much time. Orange, you're kind of looking. Pear, this is not a drill. You need to listen to me and... No, oh, it's too late. What? What do you mean? Well, you've heard the term pie in the sky before, right? Sure. Well, you're about to see it and smell it too. Orange, I'm getting kind of scared. <laughs> ah! see about that. Not sure how much of a challenge this one's gonna be for me. What do you mean? I mean, guessing whether food is real or it's made of gummy candy? Psh, come on! This is gonna be so easy! I know real food when I see it, because I see the realest food there is every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> har har! Very funny! Well, if you're so sure this is gonna be easy, take first crack at our first round item, pizza! Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Obviously, I have the gummy pizza in front of me. You think so? I do not think so, Little Apple. I know so. Yours has the oils, the textures, the aroma of a pepperoni pizza slice. Mine, on the other non-existent hand, appears rubbery and bulbous. That is my final answer. I have the gummy pizza. You have the real pizza. Okay, let's find out. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, sure enough. You were right! Of course 
I was right. I'm incredible, and my mind is terrifyingly expansive. Bring on round two. Okay, next up we have rocks. Rocks? <laughs> this just gets easier and easier, doesn't it? What do you mean? They look exactly the same to me. That's because they are exactly the same. Have you ever eaten a rock before? No. Exactly. Rocks aren't food, so they're both obviously gummy. Ah, so you think it's a trick round. Yeah, they obviously wouldn't have us biting the rocks. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. That would not end well. Right. We're both going to bite in, and we'll both be rewarded with delicious gummy goodness. <laughs> Give me a paper towel. Ah, mine was an actual rock. Huh. One was gummy food and one was real after all. Guess this is turning out pretty challenging after all, huh, Grapefruit? It, that, that wasn't the deal. Nobody said I'd be fed a real rock. Jeez, Grapefruit, it was right in the title. Gummy food versus real food. Rocks are not real food. I don't know. Is it really that hard to understand? <laughs> hard? Are you making rock jokes at a time like this? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. What do you say we move along to round three? Whatever makes us finish faster, I gotta get to the dentist. Okay then, round three, hot dogs. Super easy. Yours is the real hot dog. I can see the heat rising off it. Mine is room temperature, which means it must be the gummy food. Mm. You deduced correctly. This is a real hot dog. And as an added bonus, it's delicious. Good, so mine's gummy. My mouth could use a nice soft gummy something right about now. <laughs> wow, would you look at that? Your hot dog was a rock too. You think? Well, them's the rules. Them is not the rules. How did rocks come into play? Why on earth are, huh? Wow, yeah, you're definitely gonna wanna see a dentist about that. Yo, 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 fruit lovers, it's your boy, Little Apple. I'm here with Grapefruit, and we're doing the Oreo Challenge. What my diminutive friend says is true. We will blindfold ourselves, then sample Oreo cookies from this plate. Whoever guesses the correct flavor gets a point. You ready, Grapefruit? Oh, I'm ready. Little Apple, I've been preparing for this moment my entire life. Did you know I'm training to become a master sommelier? I did not. I also don't know what a sommelier is. Suffice to say, my palate is a finely tuned instrument. Guessing Oreo flavors is far beneath my skill level. It's laughable. Ha. <laughs> in fact, the only reason I'm participating in this little video challenge of yours is because I've lost like 40,000 challenge videos in a rodeo. I look forward to ending that losing streak today. Okay. Yeah, I feel like your odds are pretty good. Doctor says my mouth is so small that I only have room for like two taste buds. <laughs> Oh, this will be sweet or sour. Whatever the taste, my tongue will identify it with ease. Okay, I'll go first. Hmm, which one to pick? Little Apple has chosen the original Oreo cookie. Um, Thoughts? Yeah, I have no idea. I think I taste chocolate, but maybe it's vanilla. But maybe it might be tuna fish. I just don't know. Like I said, two taste buds. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Tuna fish? Ridiculous! Well, I suppose you'll just have to take a wild guess and we'll move on to me destroying you. Good call. Yeah, I'll just guess the normal, original Oreo flavor, cause, you know, why not? <laughs> Lucky guess, I'll have no problem catching up. Wow, I actually got it? Okay, wow, kind, kinda hard to see with this blindfold. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's kind of the point. I know it's the point. I just get all disoriented when I can't see. It's a thing people have. Very normal. Okay, just gonna pick up an Oreo. Um, grapefruit? Don't tell me. I can get it myself. I'm very smart and very self-sufficient. Okay, it's super hard. Next time I gotta remember to dunk it in milk first. Hmm, kind of plasticky. Essence of ashtray and tennis ball. Definitely essence of tennis ball. <coughs> oh, is that felt in my throat? Oh my gosh. <coughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna guess mine was a sugar-free Oreo. It just wasn't quite up to normal Oreo standards. And oh my gosh, I ate a poker chip. I tried to warn you. I ate a poker chip? Isn't there like electronic stuff in these things? Am I a cyborg now? Cause it's been a lifelong dream of mine to become a cyborg, but this is not what I had in mind. Calm down, you're not a cyborg, but you are losing one to zero. My turn. How do you do that? How do you navigate around without being able to see? Grapefruit, anyone can do this. Little Apple has selected the birthday cake Oreo. Mm. Okay, this one tastes great. Sort of a mint flavor. 
Mint? Really? Yep, I think so. I mean, I don't really know. Maybe it's banana. My palate's so bad, you know? Well, if you taste mint, perhaps you should guess the Cool Mint Cream Oreo. Maybe, but also mint reminds me of basil, which reminds me of Brazil, which explains the banana. It also reminds me of soccer, which reminds me of the soccer ball I got for my birthday last year. So, on a complete whim, I'm gonna go with birthday cake Oreo. Oh, come on! Whoa! I actually got it? Happy birthday to me, I guess! <laughs> hey, okay, listen! This time you gotta tell me if I've actually picked a cookie. Got it? Seems fair. Promise me? I don't want to eat another polka chip or nothing, got it? Got it! I promise! Okay, this one. Grapefruit has selected the double stuffed Oreo. Now tell me, is this an Oreo cookie of some kind, little apple? Yes! Is it edible? It won't turn me into a polka cyborg or anything? You're perfectly fine to eat it, I swear! Very well then! Now just gonna dunk it in the glass of milk! Um, and here we go! Grapefruit? Mmm? Do you know what kind of Oreo cookie it is? Mm-hmm. Um, can you reply with actual words so I know that you're able to open your mouth? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm? Grapefruit, you, um, dunked your cookie in glue! Mm -hmm. I don't know who put it there! And frankly, I feel like the poker chip is the stranger item to have lying around a kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It looks like the glue should wear off in a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Kinda bummed it was you and not Orange. That would have been pretty sweet to have him quiet for a couple hours. <laughs> Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm -hmm. Orange, Orange, come play the Oreo challenge with us. Orange! Heidi ho fruit lovers! Today we're doing the smoothie challenge! And let me tell ya, I am juiced! <laughs> so am I, Orange! Now basically, we're gonna pull six ingredient names out of this bowl, and whatever we pick goes straight into the smoothie. No matter how gross it tastes, we gotta drink the whole thing. Uh-oh, could be a rough ride, but something tells me it'll be a smoothie. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, the first ingredient is, drum roll please, Pear? Really? Oh man, this is awkward. Yeah, I'll say. So? So what? Are you gonna get in the blender now, or? No, I'm not gonna get in the blender. Okay, okay, geez. I thought we were doing the smoothie challenge. I guess I was wrong. We are doing the smoothie challenge, but I don't see why I should have to get pulverized in a blender in order to do it. Well, it's not called the smoothie easy. It's called the smoothie challenge. You gotta give it your all, Pear, for the audience. I'd do anything for the audience, wouldn't you? Anything that doesn't involve me dying. Wow, some commitment you got there, Pear. Okay, fine. We'll toss your name out. Go ahead and pick again. Okay. Passion fruit. Oh, man. Really? I don't know. I feel kind of bad putting passion in the smoothie. Yeah, because you're in love with her. Nah, -uh. it's because nobody knows where she is. So how can we put her in the smoothie? Fair point. I'll pick another ingredient. Banana. Aw, we can't put banana in the smoothie. Why not? Because it's a slippery slope. <laughs> get it? Slippery? Yes, I get it. Oh, and we can't lose Peach. That'd be the pits. So why should Carrot die? I don't see the point. I definitely miss having cantaloupe around. And there isn't a food in the kitchen that wouldn't long to have zucchini back. <laughs> Ooh, how about grody potato? Hey, what about me? <laughs> Yo, someone want to open a window? Apparently my deodorant's only strong enough for a man. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, we cannot make a smoothie out of grody potato. Why not? Because you love him? No, I actually detest him. And I'm not drinking a smoothie made out of him. Not only is it weirdly cannibalistic, but he smells like a compost pile. Oh, that's true. I do live in a compost pile. More than happy to be a part of your smoothie, though. It's always been a dream of mine to become a sludge. There is no way we're drinking grody potato. But what other choice do we have? We can't chop onion. It'd make me cry. And we can't chop rutabaga. His name's way too fun to say. Rutabaga, rutabaga, rutabaga. Orange. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. No, I mean orange. <gasps> me? But, but, but if I was gone, who would motorboat when you're trying to read? Great point. And if I was gone, who'd burp you awake every morning, hours before your alarm clock is set to go off? Here's a ladder to help you get up there. If I was gone, who would wake everyone up at 3 a.m. every night with kazooing? Hmm, 
Probably best to go with the smoothie setting, right? I bet puree would work nicely too, though. Pear! I can't believe you want me to get in the blender! Dude, not two minutes ago you were telling me to get in there! But that's different! I'm the highest rated character on this show! <laughs> no. Well, you said it yourself, dude! We have to blend somebody! The audience tuned in for a smoothie challenge video! I know, I know! But who? Who indeed! If only there was someone super willing to be turned into a smoothie! Hmm, now who could that be? Ah, uh, fine. Hop in, grody potato. Yeah, all right. Let me just pop an eye out and Geronimo! Any last words, grody? Kick the tires and light the fires, pear. Ah, uh, gladly. Oh, yeah! <laughs> well, smoothie's ready. I guess we gotta drink it. Maybe we just throw it out and say we did? Uh, 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 you gotta drink it. I got my eye on you, you son of a gun. What? Who said that? You remind me of a guy I got into a fight with in El Paso over a taco. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, deal's a deal. <laughs> you have to be good sports about this. After all, I was a good spore. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, fine. Here goes nothing. Well, how is it? Huh, it's actually not half bad. Ah! <laughs> I taste pretty good, don't I? <sighs> what up, fruit lovers? AO and the gang here with something super cool. <laughs> Today, we're doing the brain freeze challenge. So we're bringing in a whole bunch of frozen treats. Oh, wow! We got ice cream, we got popsicles, we even got Slurpees! Oh, man, I love all this stuff! You might be singing a different tune in a few minutes, because here's the deal. It's a race to see how fast each one of us can eat the stuff on their plate. Whoever eats the most, wins! And whoever eats the least? They'll have to spin the punishment wheel! Thing. Grapefruit is ready to roll! Okay, everyone get your popsicles ready. Three, two, one, go! Hey, no fair catching me off guard like that! What are you talking about, dude? I counted down from three. Oh! Wow, little apple, in addition to being illiterate, can you also not count? Um, I'd like to bleed the fourth! It's the fifth, bro! Wow, are you bad with numbers? This is great! He'll get last place for sure! It's a race for first, people! It's been a minute since I won one of these challenges, but today that all changes! Ah! Who else is starting to get a brain freeze? Not me! Me neither! Three, neither! <laughs> Was that a joke? I don't get it! Oh man! Oh, it hurts! Owie, owie, owie! Seriously! Am I the only one in pain right now? Um, dude, you might want to slow down. Your head's looking a little. Well, frozen. Grapefruit, you better slow down, or Elsa. <laughs> uh, let it go, let it go. Shut, shut up. up. Yeesh, no need to be so cold. <laughs> hey, did anyone notice Grandpa Lemon wake up? No, why? Because his popsicle's completely finished, plus half his ice cream. What, I haven't even finished my popsicle yet. Grapefruit, dude, you should slow down. Your head looks like the planet Hoth. Hoth? Uh-oh, Pear. Your Star Wars reference went way over Grapefruit's frozen head. <laughs> yes! I'm definitely starting to feel a little brain freeze. A little? A little? Um, can we stop shouting the word little, please? It's a derogatory term to certain people. Guys? Grandpa Lemon's Slurpee is halfway gone. How is that possible? I don't know, Frosty. <laughs> uh, you, you won't be calling me Frosty when I win this challenge. And Grapple Lemon Slurpee is finished. What the? How the? Whoa! Lesson learned. Never sleep on Grapple Lemon. <laughs> Wake up, Grapple Lemon! You won! Yay! Huh? How? How? One? What's this about one? A one, two, three, four? Someone want to tell me what he's babbling?
rambling on about? Oh, would you look at that? Guess I got a case of the old sleepies. Yeah, that's not a thing. So Grandpa Lemon won, but now we gotta see who lost. Everyone put their Slurpees together. Seriously? I'm over here living life as an ice cube, and I still lost the challenge? <laughs> Sorry, Grapefruit, but those are the rules. You gotta spin the punishment wheel. Fine! Get to me, me, me one step closer to one bath! Nice! Wait, no, 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 no! Oh! oh. 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 oh.